17 and I'm turning it and yeah that's urban time bell is off Okay, so today we're going to have a look at the Toolpro 8-piece Serpentine Belt Toolkit. Now, this is basically just a, uh, what would you call it, a breaker bar with a 3 drive on the end. For slipping down the front of your engine to get to your Serpentine Belt. Um, it's got all these other pieces. Things the crows put the sockets, but they, as my serpentine belt tensioner has three out drive on it, uh, this piece here should be all I need. So yeah, let's uh, go and see how it goes. So the serpentine belt tensioner has a three out drive there. So the big thing will be whether this thing is on an angle that makes it suitable for this use. No, that's really loose. It's not engaging properly. There we go. I've got it in now. I'm going to remember which way to turn it. Oh, it's still really, really sloppy. There we go, so that's in, and I'm turning it, and yeah, that serpentine belt is off. Let that come out again, that's not too bad, but I can't actually see the end of the pulley. It does seem to me that that is a very loose fit in there, but then the car is 25 years old, so it's probably had gosh knows how many things in there. Normally, when I Change it so I use a, a 3 out drive ratchet and I just put a bit of pipe on it. So, yeah, I don't know. If you have a 3 out ratchet and a bit of pipe, you probably don't need this. It does have a nice thin profile, which is useful. So, yeah, you can make up your own mind whether or not it's something you think you'd use. Now, as you just saw, my car has a 3 out drive on the tensioner releaser this also has a half inch adapter and it will go on at various angles so even that may be useful at different times it's got some crow's foot and some sockets and a little wavy washer supposed to go he didn't really fit on anything so that's a bit strange but yes I did see someone in the States complaining that there's all the accessories were half inch which made it pretty much useless these are all actually three eighths and I don't have any crow's foot so mind you I'm not thinking these would be the most Accurate or intricate, intricate ones there were, but still, it's the stuff I didn't have. So, yeah, I believe I paid thirty-six dollars for this set. Um, it's certainly going to make doing the job I'm just doing there a bit easier. Although, as I said, I've always done it just with a pipe and a three-eight ratchet. So, much of a madness. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that look at this, and I'll talk to you later.